What's up guys, it's Kino here, and today I have a Ubers showdown live. I know I haven't done that many OU showdown lives, but I'm still kind of trying to... Uh, I'm kind of waiting for the tier to settle down a little bit. Um, Dynamax, I'm still really expecting that to be banned like within the next month or so. Garlarian, Darmanitan's probably gonna go. I was starting to think Arctovish, uh, I'm sorry, Dracovish might get banned also, but we'll see. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Um, but yeah, just kind of waiting for the OU tier to settle down before I play that. I've actually been playing a lot of VGC, trying to learn that because I do want to uh, improve in that tier. So there will be VGC videos coming to my channel in not too long. But today I wanted to play Ubers because I wanted to use this one blessed Pokemon right here. Look at these fucking stats. First of all, look at this typing. Fairy Steel, that is such a good typing. And then the stats, 170 base attack, 148 base speed, fantastic bulk with 115 in each of the defenses and decent HP with 92. Like, this Pokemon has everything. It doesn't matter it doesn't have any special attack because who fucking cares? But yeah, this thing, and in, in addition, sorry, if you didn't know, its ability Intrepid Sword raises its attack by one stage just for switching in. So this thing comes in, it's already got 440 attack, now it's also at plus one. Like, absolutely insane. You get up a single sword stance and you just, like, you, you, you just win. Um, one of the few Pokemon that is able to wallzation is, of course, Toxapex, because you can wall literally everyone with Toxapex. So, of course, we will be using a Toxapex of our own because we don't want to lose to this fucking monster. But basically, the idea behind this team is to... Um, trap the uh, the thing the opposing Pokemon that can wallization such as Toxpex and Aegislash, which we're also running. Trap them with Doug Trio, knock them out, win the game with Zation. Uh, I also have some lures for Toxapex. I'm running a Dragon Dance Dragapult with Psychic Fangs, so I can um, I can Dynamax up, hit that thing with a Max Mindstorm, maybe knock it out, or at least do enough damage to open the door for Zation to win. And then I have Eject Pack Duraldon, which I think is actually pretty cool. Can drop a Draco and uh, immediately switch out. So like if they switched into Toxapex on the Draco or something like that, I can just get a free switch to Doug Trio. Don't have to worry about coming in on a Scald Burn. And I'm running Rossberry and Doug Trio because um, I don't want to be Choice Banded. And um, and I still can Adam can still two at KO Toxapex as long as I don't get burned. So we're gonna run this not get burned. If he Toxics me, I don't care. So I don't want to run Lumberry. I want to run Rossberry. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the team. Um, I'm running Air Balloon Age Slash again because it is very weak to Galarian Darmanitan. Like, that Pokemon's an enormous threat even in Ubers. That's how you kind of know it's going to be good. Um, so yeah, let's just start. Uh, I'm still relatively low ladder. I played like four or five games <clears throat> before starting this just to get a feel for the team. And yeah, we're going to we're gonna encounter teams like this for a little bit. So if there's like a lot of these, I'll probably do another um, Uber Live with these Pokemon. But right off rip, like, Zacian... Clicks. I, I want to bust this thing's disguise, although I don't even have to. Zacian doesn't even care about it. I'm just going to, like, kill it after. So, yeah, Zacian can very easily win this game. Um, I kind of want to just lead Doug Trio, get Stealth Rocks up. Stealth Rocks, always good to have, and I'm faster than everything on his team, even with Adamant, um, include, especially Charizard. Um, I could just Stone Edge this, because this is, like, the main thing I want Rocks for, so we're actually going to do that instead. Uh, should I Dynamax Rockfall? That could be cool, actually. I don't want to miss Stone Edge. Do I need Dynamax for anything else? I would like to Dynamax Dragapult. That would be pretty nice. Um, Dynamax Geraldon, not necessary, but would be cool. I think I'll go for the... I'll, I'll go for this. I don't see why not. I don't want to miss my Stone Edge. That would really suck. He's probably going to Gigantamax, or just regular Dynamax. That's fine. So, we, um, we, we take those. We don't get Rocks up, but... Um, typically you'll see Dugtrio running Focus Sash, so it can kind of do both. It could like get up Stone Edge, it can get up um, Stealth Rocks and then knock something out, but we're running Rossberry um, because, you know, fuck it. <laughs> Why not? Anyways, let's get some- ooh, great damage on Melodic. Get that knight- oh, he's Surf too, so we can't even get burned. We are Rossberry even if he did burn us, so this is working out super well for us. We're gonna max Rockfall again in case he wants to pivot into the uh, Hydreigon, which he does not, so we're able to knock out the Milotic. And that's going to be that. And I think we're still going to be able to get rocks up. If he goes Mimikyu, again, I'm going to prioritize uh, breaking its disguise so I can just win with Zacian immediately. Um, I can just close combat, close combat, Behemoth Blade, Behemoth Blade. Uh, I don't even need the Sword Stance because I'm already going to have like a thousand, it's like 900 attack or something. He does go Mimikyu. He might just Shadow Sneak us. That's fine. If he does, we're going to attempt to break his disguise. A Shadow Sneak will probably knock us out though because Dugtrio is extremely frail. But he doesn't. I guess he's going to go for a Sword Stance instead, which is so totally fine. No, just kills us. Alright, cool. So yeah, we're just gonna bring out the monster that is Zacian and win the game. Um, actually, I kind of do want to... Do I need the sword stance for Rhyperior? You know what? Rhyperior might live a Behemoth Blade, but I'm gonna I'm gonna let it rock. I'm, I'm gonna see how much damage we do without the uh, sword stance, because that thing should be coming in next. 
If he goes Bish, I'm gonna just close combat. Alright, he goes right here. Let's see if this kills. Look, this is a 100 base power stab coming from 660 attack. This should kill. Super effective. Yeah, okay, it kills. Yeah, so this Pokemon's a fucking monster. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that, like, wasn't even close to living. There was no way that was a roll. This thing's just so absurd. Um, so Zacian's just gonna pick up the first game. I'm gonna go ahead and start looking for another one, because this one is pretty much over. Here comes the Bish, but I am... Oh, okay, I guess I can't look for one yet. But yeah, I'm Fairy, so Sucker Punch not gonna do shit. I could probably just Fire Fang. I don't even need to lower my defenses in case that's a Scarf Hydreigon with Fire Blast, I guess. So Fire Fang will knock this out. And his last is Hydreigon, and Zacian picks up five kills. Four kills, whatever, same thing. Picks up enough kills. Cool. So yeah, like I said, the first few uh, matches we get will probably be pretty low louder. Um, we got a team of six Galarmons, that's cool. Dude, this Pokemon's actually really annoying to fight Appleton. My solution to it has just been toxicing it, but... Also, Ice Q, this Pokemon is a threat and a half. Luckily, I do have the Duraludon, so I kind of wall it. Um, belly, him belly drumming would be really scary, though. Um, I kind of... I could lead Duraludon, actually. Um, that might not be a bad idea. Let's see what else. Yeah, I don't... I'm not really worried about anything. Um, I don't really feel the need to trap anything, so I could also just lead, lead Doug Trio, get rocks up turn one. That might be pretty good. Break any potential sashes. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I can memento on the Ice Q, which, yep, that is exactly what comes out. But yeah, we'll get we'll get our rocks up still. I don't think this has anything to one shot Duraludon. I hope Icicle Crash doesn't one shot Duraludon actually. Hmm. We'll see what happens. He goes straight for the belly drum. Pops a citrus. I'm gonna go ahead and not break his his thing. Uh, maybe I have to. No, I can just memento into a special attacker. Oh, does memento work on Dynamax ones? It does. Thank God. All right, cool. So his max hailstorm fails, which is good. We need to go into a special attacker now. And we have Aegislash. That's awesome. Yeah, Flash Cannon should knock this out. And I don't think he can kill me with liquidation in shield form. Max Hailstorm definitely not gonna kill me. He's Dynamax, so maybe he will live. Let's see. Oh yeah, he super lives. That's tough. Um, I'm gonna I probably have to sack something. Um Actually, Toxpex probably just walls it, to be honest. Yeah, we're just gonna go Pex. This definitely is just gonna wall it. Yeah, easy. And we can just probably knock him out with the Scald. Oh, this gets Head Smash. Eh, he'll kill himself and recoil if he Head Smashes. Let's see, he's Belly Drum, Ice Will Crash. He could be Head Smash. I'll recover just to see if... Oh, he's Iron Head. Oh, okay, that's... Well, he can flinch me down, I guess, but... I'm gonna try and just recover up if that's the best thing he has to hit me with. Ooh, that did some damage. Please don't flinch me. Come on! <laughs> the double flinch. You yeah, love to see it. Um, I guess I'm gonna sack Aegis... Uh, Aegislash is nice for the Poltegeist, but maybe that's fine. I can just set up a Dragapult on, like, Inteleon or something, probably, or Corviknight. Um, I am Focus Sash, which is also nice. This is also the last turn of Hail, which is really good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna sack Aegislash here, because I can't Shadow Sneak the Ice Key. And we end up taking it anyways. Mm. Alternatively, if I Shadow Sneak this, uh, I will be able to hit it with a physical attack, which might be a little bit better. No, that'll bump his speed up way too high. I'm not going to do that. I'm, yeah, I'm, not, I'm just going to Flash Cannon. Let him lock me out with the Liquidation. And now I can go into... Yeah, Duraldon should be fine here. I wonder if Dragon Darts is like, one breaks his head, two like, kills him. I'm going to try that, because just, you know, to see if that's how that works. This is for learning. This might not work, this might super backfire on me, but I'm actually super curious. Alright, first one breaks the Ice Face. It does break the Ice Face, and the second one knocks him out. That's awesome, and we still have our Focus Sash intact on Dragapult, so I'm really glad I know how that works now. He's gonna go into the Poltegeist, but he cannot set up and kill me at the same time. Uh, so I am going to Dragon Dance here, and this might actually just be the beginning for, of the end for him. As he goes straight for the Shell Smash, but I'm Focus Sash, so that's not a problem. In fact, I could actually DD up again. Uh, I don't think he has any priority on his team. Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm okay to Dragon Dance again. If he Shell Smashes again, that's like super funny. Oh, I was faster anyways, but this should guarantee me the game, so it's alright. And we are just going to go for the Phantom Force here. He has no Ghost Resist. 
It's only Dragon Resistance Corviknight, and I'll probably just Dynamax on Corviknight, so this is looking like a Dragapult win this time, which is pretty cool. These are some pretty good stats too. It's crazy that Zacian has, Zacian had like higher attack with just like coming in, so it's insane. But anyway, stored power not gonna work. I am invisible. So the Dragapult's just going to uh, sweep from this point, so that's pretty neat. Yeah, I got 608. All right, I think this is a little higher than, than uh, what Zacian's attack is, but still, this is plus two compared to plus one. Like, that's crazy. Corviknight comes out. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm gonna just Dynamax on this. Ooh, shout out to the ice cream truck in the background. Does anyone want ice cream? You guys want to get me? You guys want me to get you something? I don't mind. It's fine. But anyways, this is gonna die. Who's next? Send him out. Oh, he's just gonna forfeit. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and get the next one. All right, here we go. So my opponent has an Eternatus. I actually haven't seen one of these yet. He also has. He has a lot of scary Pokemon. Actually, Jesus. Um, Eternatus is faster than Doug Trio. Which is really annoying. I can't trap it. I have to be Choice Scarf if I want to trap it and Earthquake it. But Choice Scarf doesn't do a KO Tox specs. Maybe Choice. Actually, Choice Scarf Adamant probably does. Maybe I will change to that. But because that would be nice to outspeed um, Galarian Darmanitan as well. I might actually change to that. Doesn't sound like a terrible idea. Um, against this team, let's see. This guy right here is really annoying. Um, I could just. I don't want to lead. I could just lead Doug Trio. I think I will just lead. Ah, oh, but I'm not Focus Sash. Yeah, because like. This is faster, this is faster, this is faster. is not a great lead, he could lead Charizard. Um, Duraludon actually not looking like a bad lead. Close combat shouldn't one-shot me, although I guess I can't really do much bad. Oh, I can Steel Beam it and just like nuke it as hard as I can. Um, let's see. Yeah, that might end up being the play. I think that's what we're gonna do, let's lead Duraludon. Duraludon hasn't gotten to come out yet. He did Sincino, which is cool. I'm just going to uh, Flash Cannon, I'm not too worried about what this wants to do. I could drop a Draco as well. I'm just going to Flash Cannon, it's safer. 372 attack, definitely nothing to scoff at. So this should, uh, <clears throat> it'll probably not, eh, I don't know if it'll knock out Sincino, but if he like U-turn, something's coming in taking a lot of damage. He could definitely go Coronite here, but Duraludon has access to Thunderbolt. Um, so I don't know, actually, well, let me double check that. I gotta like stop pretending like I know these sets, right? But um, yes, it does indeed have access to Thunderbolt. So it's not exactly a safe switch in. He knocks off my eject pack, which is whatever. He's Life Orb. Doesn't knock him out, but that's okay. Could Dynamax right here. Dynamax, Mac. Oh, Mac no, I'm not doing shit, but. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna Flash Cannon again, I guess. Pretty sure the most he can do to me is knock off again. Yeah, like, <laughs> alright, so you're dead. So let's see what he wants to go into now. If he goes into Zacian, I think I have to just attack it. I have to Steel Beam it. I don't think I can go hard Toxapex, because, um,. I can't go hard tox specs because if he swords dances, psychic fangs will just kill me. He goes Corviknight though, so again, you know, this could be T Bolt, but I guess he's not worried about T Bolt, so whatever. Um, this could be an opportunity for me to get up rocks, which would be really nice because uh, I can't trap anything on his team, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. If he body presses me, I should live that. If he max air streams, that's going to be extremely annoying, but he just air slashes, which we're super okay with. We're gonna get up our stealth rocks now and let the Doug Trio go down. Maybe I will change this to Adamant Scarf, that might not be a bad idea. Because I can also, I'm pretty, yeah, yeah, Adamant Scarf will also outspeed uh, Zacian, which is, Zacian and Eternatus, which is, like, very important, obviously. I'm going to make that change now. Well, after this game. All right, knocks me out with the next Air Slash. Um, I'm thinking I can just set up on this, though. Yeah, I think I can just uh, go ahead and Sword Dance on this boy. Let's see what his response to this is. Six, six, yeah, okay, so plus two Dragapult is like slightly stronger than plus one Draco Dracian, Zacian, wow, what am I saying? But um, yeah, anyways, let's see what he goes for here. He goes for Brave Bird, okay, so we're playing someone maybe that doesn't quite know how to play Pokemon, that's fine. Um, Fire Fang will knock this out. Well, is that stronger? Yeah, Fire Fang's a little stronger. So yeah, this will knock him out. Knock him out, knock him out. Actually, you know what's funny? Well, never mind, I was gonna say, uh, sorry, I was gonna say Charizard actually walls me. Um, but yeah, I have Stealth Rocks up, so Behemoth Blade will just kill Charizard. So it actually does not wall me, so never mind. I take that back. Another option I could be running on this. Is, oh, here he is. Here's the boy. Oh, we got Zacian Dittos. Time for a speed tie. Let's see, what's stronger? Behemoth Blade is 150 base power because neutral. Fire Fang is a little strong. No, that's 130 base power. Duh. So Behemoth Blade is a little stronger. We're going to go for that. And we crit him. That probably didn't matter, to be honest. I'm not 100% sure. I really don't know these calcs. Is Zacian even in this? Oh, Zacian should be in this. Let's see. 
Okay, no, that's super kill. We're chilling. All right, awesome. He goes into Eternatus, which we are faster than, and Behemoth Blade should just knock out. Yep. All right, so we're going to get another Zacian Sweep. What a surprise. This Pokemon is, in my opinion, more broken than Mega Rayquaza. It just, it comes in, it's already set up, it's blazingly fast, and it's a better typing. Um, Rayquaza, I guess, has, like, the weather ability going for it, the, um, the Strong Winds, whatever it's called. But, like, I don't know, man, I think this Pokemon is, like, disgusting. Zamazenta Crowns comes out. Ooh, the counter. I think Behemoth Blade is still my best play, though. Because, also, Zamazenta doesn't get, like, any move pull. He can't kill He can't kill me with anything. He doesn't get any ground moves. I don't know if he gets any fire moves. But, yeah, like, this... I don't think Zamazenta can actually beat Zacian 1v1. I'm pretty sure my opponent just has a Pokemon... A, a team of the three legendaries and his three other favorite Pokemon. <laughs> Corviknight, Charizard, and... Um, oh, that's actually zero damage. What's he doing to me? Oh, okay, he's doing strong. All right, you know what? I'm losing this 1v1. Not bad. Not bad. Should I go for the uh, the flinch? I want to go for the flinch. Because I can't 2 kill him anyways. Ugh, even at this point, I'm pretty sure uh, Dragapult uh, wins the game anyways. Oh! Wait. Duh. He's not... I thought. Oh my god, I thought Behemoth Blade was going to be neutral against him. I forgot he's not a uh, fairy type. He's a fighting type. My bad. Yeah, we're still learning, guys. Anyways, he goes Charizard. Behemoth Blade will probably kill him even if he Gigantamaxes, which I'm expecting him to. And if not, I can just go into my Dragapult and Revenge kill him, but he doesn't even Gigantamax. Did he max with something else? I forgot. I don't think he did, but whatever. Either way, Zacian getting the next sweep. Yeah, okay, so never mind. Fire Fang hits Zamazenta, so Zacian also beats Zamazenta 1v1. I really don't see the point in running Zamazenta. I don't think that Pokemon's good. Like, even if you, even if Zacian's not in the game, I think Zamazenta's like a very underwhelming Pokemon in Ubers. Got another Pokemon. Ooh, this guy got Mr. Rhyme. That's cool. I like it. Uh, Aegislash. Not bad. I do have the Fire Fang for that, though. And I can trap it with Doug Trio. I didn't change it. Whoops. I'm going to change it now before I forget. So we're going to change this to Scarf. And I should probably get rid of Stealth Rock. Oh, I need... Um, no, fuck it. I'm going to keep Stealth Rock. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, Could definitely lead Doug Trio this game as well. I think I will. Yeah, Doug Trio seems like a fine lead. C leads Aegislash. He is not on a balloon. Uh, I just want to Earthquake this so I can get... Okay, King Shields. Cool. Gonna Earthquake it again. Is ro are rocks more important? How do I deal with this otherwise, right? How do I deal with this? I just Phantom Force it. I'll get rocks up. He can't King Shield Phantom Force. Yeah, I'll get rocks here. And he'll flash cast. Oh, it didn't even knock me out. Well, Shadow Sneak will knock me out, but it's fine. I don't care. Kind of wish I didn't think he'd go for. There was no point for him to go for King Shield turn one, but that's just like. Oh, okay. Cool. Don't know why he's doing that, but I'll get a little bit of free chip with the Earthquake then. Maybe break a potential Focus Sash. Uh, yeah. Oh. The, the turn one King Shield was just, you know, you can't predict inexperienced players like that. So, you know, there's no point. I'm not going to be like, oh, he's going to King Shield turn one, because there's literally no reason to do that. It was just a dead turn. Um, ooh, that was some nice chip gonna knock me out now with the shadow ball i really want to predict the king shield and go for dragon dance i'm doing it i don't think he has shadow sneak either because he's special i'm gonna predict the king shield go for the dragon dance if it fucks if it blows up in my face it blows up in my face but i'm gonna do it even though i was just saying there's no need to predict inexperienced players slash not possible but like if this works then i win uh oh he shadow balls <laughs> that's funny it didn't bring me down to sash um but we can phantom force here Oh, yeah, there's no way in hell is Dragon Dancing again, so <laughs> that's fine. Alright, uh, he doesn't have any priority. So if his uh, Dragapult's not Scarf, it could be Sucker Punch, I guess. I don't know how Sucker Punch interacts with Phantom Force, because I'm not attacking that first turn. I don't know, I'm going to try. If it goes Dragapult, I'm just clicking Phantom Force. He goes Inteleon, though. Um, I think I'm just going to Dragon Darts this. I, want to I don't want to Dynamax just yet. Cool. Inteleon goes down. I think we're just gonna win with Dragapult. Eh, that's fine with me. He goes Mr. Rhyme, I just Phantom Force it, he's just gonna forfeit. Alright, cool. Let's get another one. We are getting so many games this life. Well, let's get, it's been like 20 minutes. Let's get, uh, let's get like two more. Oh, okay, I don't even wanna play this one. Like, come on, man. At least give me fully evolved Pokemon. Like, <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Anyways, uh, he can't kill Toxapex ever. <laughs> Um, I want to break the potential Sturdy on. I'm just going to Toxpex. He literally can't kill Toxpex. I'm going to burn this. 
It's random, he says. Very. It is very random. So is every- yeah, I would imagine. Like, I know we're low ladder, but like, come on, you know. Mudbray, your earthquake is going to do literally nothing to me. Also, he says he's clicking random buttons, so like, maybe he's not even gonna earthquake. Wow, he actually earthquaked. Cool. Can we get a burn? So I can just not give a fuck about this? No. Nope. Oh, we got a burn. Sick. Free recover. Toxpex legitimately six owes him. I'm actually gonna skip this battle, and I'll get two more after this, because I don't want this one to count. So we'll be right back. Alright, guys. We're back. That was such a gigantic fucking waste of my time. Um... Yeah, just, I don't know why people do They go on the ladder and just, like, he took forever to fucking make his moves, too, so I don't know. Anyways, we are back with, like, a real game. Well, close enough to a real game, anyways. He's got it. Uh, yeah, okay, well, alright. Okay, well, you know what? Fuck it. Uh, we'll get one more. We'll get one more. What the hell is this? I actually, okay, I think that, this kind of scares me. That's just going to be Final Gambit, so I actually want to lead um, Dragapult against it. So I'm going to lead Dragapult. Dragapult matches up really nicely against most of his team. Not this, though. Um, we can Dragon Dance on this for free. Actually, I think this is super fine. This is kind of a free Dragon Dance. Because we're Focus Sash. So he sets up the rain. We are going to kill you before you do anything else that is scary. Uh, does he have any Swift Swim Pokemon? Nope. He does not. I was like, wait, does King get Swift Swim? But it does not. Anyways, we will Dynamax here. Um, we'll just Max one would lower its attack. Or just straight up kill it, you know, we'll see. Yeah, straight up kill it, perfect, even better. <laughs> yeah, we, I think we just, okay, so we'll get one more after this, because this was not a real game either. All right. Ooh, you're dead. Anyways, yeah, we'll get one more after this, because that was also not a real game. That's the thing with low ladder, you know, it's, you'll, you'll get, you get a lot of games like those. But the other thing is, like, Uber's not a real tier yet. There's only three Pokemon in it, and the rest are, you know, obviously OU. But this is looking like kind of a real team. He's got an Aegislash, he's got Cinderace, which can be pretty scary. He's got the Zacian, that's how I know it's a real team. So Valley's really interesting. I actually really want to use So Valley in OU and VGC and see how it works. Uh, multi attack getting the buff to 120 base power is so good for it. Um, but I think I can lead Doug Trio pretty safely, actually, because I'm Scarf now. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, lead Dougie as he leads this. Um, let's see. Do I want rocks? Rocks actually actually aren't that great. I'm just gonna get some damage on this. So he gets up a T spike. That's fine. We can just absorb that with Toxapex. Um, now his Cinderace will be faster than us if he's also Scarf, but uh, I guess we'll see. He might not expect my Doug Trio to be Scarf because I do naturally outspeed Roserade. Um, so we'll see. He might go into like, I don't know what he's gonna go into actually. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep clicking Earthquake. If he goes into uh, Sil Valley, we'll we'll see if we need to adjust. But I'm just gonna keep Earthquaking until he gives me a reason not to. He goes Gengar. Um, just gonna Earthquake you again. Sucker Punch Gengar. Okay. Oh, he's Focus Sash. Ooh. And now he chooses to Gigantamax, but he can't Sucker Punch since he's Gigantamaxed. Alright, so these last couple of games, well, Doug Trio's putting in work, so it's all good. Yeah, I'll definitely upload another Uber Live eventually with uh, this team, so this team can, like, do a little more. Well, do, you know, play against, like, more real teams anyways. I do think it's a good team, though. It's very offensive. Those are, that's how I like my teams, so. Um, he has Sil Valley. I want to absorb that T-Spike. So I'm just going to go real quick into Toxapex. I should eat this up. Nice. I'm going to go I'm going to double into uh, Aegislash right here. Could also go Duraludon. Could go Durandoran. And just start uh start attacking shit. I'll do that instead. Oh, oh, a crit. Oh. He's going to be faster than me too. Fuck. What kind of what kind of what kind of set was that? All right, whatever. Anyways, um I'm just going to Draco right back, honestly, as he misses his Draco, and I will get a free switch out, which is pretty cool. And should I just go into Dragapult and win? You know, no, this was a, this was a Zacian live. We got to end it. We got to, we got to end this with uh, Zacian, of course. 
as uh, he shouldn't be able to hit me with anything. I should be able to sword stance pretty freely here. And, um, I mean, at the end of the day, Dragapult wins, so even if the Aegislash, like, does some shit to me, it's not a huge deal. As he goes for Flamethrower, didn't do anything. Thank you for not burning me, though. That was very, very appreciated. Knock this boy out, because I will, I will get burned by the 10%. Like, I promise, I will get burned almost every time. You guys want to see me click Sword Stance when the Aegislash comes out on his King Shield? Oh, go Cinderace first. Gonna, I guess I just close combat that. It probably dies to Behemoth Blade. All right, we're gonna we're gonna open up the handy dandy calculator real quick. Wow, does not kill. Crazy. I guess we have to close combat. <clears throat> not scarf, so that's cool. So I'm a little less inclined to. Um, well, it goes into Zacian. We already saw that I killed this, so this is a speed tie. He could probably knock me out, but he has to be jolly. He should be jolly. These should all be jolly because you need to speed tie with other Zacian. As he is jolly and knocks me out. But I do got that adamant scarf Doug Trio in the back to revenge kill. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good. I was like, wait, this does not speed, right? But yeah. Alright, so Doug Trio gonna come and clutch real quick. Cool. Doug Trio put in work this last game. This was a this was an alright last game. I got to push buttons and stuff. Doug Trio put in hella work. Last Pokemon gonna be Aegislash. I'm just gonna Earthquake in case he like tries to Swords Dance or some shit. Not gonna bother. Actually, I could Dynamax. I don't think I live a hit if I Dynamax, so no point in Dynamaxing. I'll live a Shadow Sneak, but like, that's it. And Earthquake just straight up. Oh, I crit him, that's why. Cool. Alright, so Doug Trio actually getting like the most amount of kills that last game. That was pretty funny. But anyways, guys, thank you guys. Stay really thank you guys so much for watching. This was a pretty easy live. My opponent's obviously not that great, but you know, low ladder, and we're gonna keep laddering up with the team, and I'll have another video eventually with this team at a against more more skilled opponents. But anyways, yeah, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Hit up my Discord down below if you want to play some Pokemon with some people, and I'll see you next time. Peace.